Welcome Taurus and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for February 24th through March 1st. Taurus, it looks like there were some secrets in a two of cups situation that had to do with conflict. So, you know, maybe a secret soulmate that had a lot of conflict. Stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hey guys, welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Uh, please keep in mind that all readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's not your story. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is listed in the description box below. You can also reach me at quartzrosetarot at gmail.com and visit my website at quartzrosetarot.com. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into this and see where it goes. Taurus, you're starting off your read with the moon card. This is about secrets or emotion. This is Taurus of Cancer, I mean, uh, Pisces and Cancer. Under that, you have the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate, somebody who you're evenly yoked with, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Under that, we have the Five of Swords. This is about wanting to win at all costs and having conflict. So maybe a secret in a Two of Cups situation that had a, had a lot of conflict in it. But there was love. You have the Ace of Cups, a new beginning of love. And you felt like you're recovering from a a heartbreak here. You could be at a distance from this person, but you're up in your head about this to a cup situation and you're coming in as the king of coin this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're very much up in your head about this uh, this conflict the conflict is with you but there was an ending or a transformation with the death card this is Scorpio under that you have wish fulfillment which is the nine of cups so maybe transforming your wish fulfillment it looks like you're manifesting something here with the magician. I don't see anything around here would indicate manipulation uh, because it's under wish fulfillment. So you're manifesting. You're manifesting your true match, which is the queen of coin. You have the king and queen of coin here. Okay. So you have a perfect match on the board. This is a soulmate. But you're making a decision here. You're making a decision. You're at a crossroads trying to make a decision to have some justice here. You have Libra. That's what you're manifesting because it's sitting next to the magician. So you're manifesting some justice. You've shed some light on something that has to do with this queen of coins because the light's on her. Okay. So some light's being shed. This is Virgo shed on this queen of coin. Okay. This could have been a passionate sexual relationship okay you have the ace of wands here under that you have a single woman an abundant single woman this is somebody who's working on themselves this could be her as a single woman working on herself this could be the same person here because i do show an ending ending of, of wish fulfillment you're up in your head about this there is a secret in the conflict that has to do with conflict, you're looking over at what's been shed, the light's been shed on, and it, you're wanting to bring in a cup of love here with the Knight of Cups. You want to you want to give that cup back to her. You want the happiness and 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 uh, success here, and you're using strength to do it. This is Leo, so you're you're needing strength to do this. The strength is either the strength and justice is surrounding this single woman. So you have the Knave of Wands, which is a passionate message, a passionate message of love, shedding some light on somebody. This is the passionate message has to do with burdens. Okay, so what I'm getting here is you're burdened and you're out in the cold. So, okay, this was an ending with her. Okay, she is your true love. This is her as the single person in this read. This is not two people. This is one. Okay, you're out in the cold because of a burden. There was a secret that caused a conflict, okay? 
under the bottom of the deck, you're, you're heartbroken. You're out in the cold with this burden, heartbroken. You feel bound and stuck to a situation. You felt bound and stuck to a situation. You're not stuck to it. This is the Eight of Swords. You're up in your head about repeat. You just need to take a minute and figure it out. You've got to make a decision here for a victory and reconcile this relationship and come in with that love message that you haven't come in with yet and bring the conflict from rough waters to calm waters and communicate, communicate. <laughs> People, this is Mercury retrograde. You got to communicate, not by text, either face to face or over the phone where you can hear a voice. Communicate. You need to bring this from rough waters to calm waters and balance this out. Okay. This is about one person. These two people on the board are one person. It's it's this queen of coin in her single state is showing up as the nine of coins. This is not two people. Okay. This is simply about there is a secret in this relationship that caused a conflict. You guys are a, 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 a mat, you're an equal match. You could be a twin flame. Okay. You're an equal match here. You have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups. You have the Sun card. If you're not a twin flame, you have a definite strong soul, uh, soul, soul bond here. Okay? Something ended with her. Your happiness ended. And you want to manifest justice here. You want to come out of the cold. So whatever this conflict was, that there were secrets in, you need to fix it and communicate. That's all I have for you, Taurus. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.